Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of the Behind the Scenes Documentary. I'm joined by the wonderful Matt from Backyard Cricket. Hello. I'm going to ask you all about your involvement in the Backyard Cricket and what it felt like to be behind the scenes of one of the special events on this channel. So Matt, what did you think about it? What was your experience? I had a lot of fun doing it, obviously because I really like spoilers. Yeah. Because I won. I had a lot of fun. It was just a good like little get together after our season had finished. Good to catch up with everybody. I just remember when it happened, we had all these technical problems, we had, we managed to get it working, like we are originally going to have a few extra games, and then the person delivered, delivered the fridge, which took an hour, which, that was okay, we're not too bothered by that, so we had to restructure the tournament actually, and the semi-finals were a bit funny, I think we took the mickey out of Finn a lot, like he was yeah. the butt of the joke. Poor fella. I know, and cameras, what was your thoughts on like, the angles and all that, and how that all happened? I thought that the camera angles were really fun. We tried to experiment with all of our different phones, try to get different angles to show all the shots a bit better, instead of just having one straight on. A couple of them got used, some of them got ditched, but uh, yeah, it was good to do that as well. We had internet problems as well, which was a problem, and there was also the filming in verticals. So that was, I think, the reason why I ditched that one up high. The vertical restricted the ability to... Put it up on YouTube. Yeah, put it up on YouTube, because like, if I'm putting up vertical video and all these black bars, it's just another technical side of things. So yeah, I have, at special events I've experienced a lot of things where you'd actually have glitches. I once had a live stream, I tried to live stream the end of an ultra marathon, and then the internet crashed. So we actually, what happened was the viewers didn't actually see the end, and I was caught up in the emotion of someone finishing a 600 kilometer ultra marathon. But at the same time, I had to actually think, this live stream's failed. But I put the videos together, and it was Marty Killane, 600 kilometers. It was amazing. I went, I spent the whole of Saturday out at Melbourne. So these special events, you always have that day or two that you spend doing things. How did it look when the bowler was running in and there was a camera in the way? Did it feel different? It wasn't too different, I guess. You got the, when you're actually playing cricket, there's the stumps there anyway. It was just a little bit higher, but it wasn't like a trip hazard or anything. There was a little bit of a curve that you had to come down maybe this far off, which was a bit odd, but got used to it pretty quickly. And bowling was pretty easy, actually. I thought it was going to be pretty hard. I think I played barefoot, so the, the oh. foot tore up my feet. Yeah, everyone was playing barefoot, it was a funny trade. I tell you what, what we actually got out of them, that everyone expressed themselves very well. But you got the character out of these people, and that was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. Just, it was, it was hilarious, actually, because we saw just the determination of, they're trying to win the tournament, but also have some fun. Like when you were chucking the coke, that was a moment to remember. Yeah. So yeah, backyard cricket, special events, you know. There's a lot of people who's behind the scenes, so not on the camera. Yeah. They had to get onto the grass of the oval just so that their feet didn't burn up on the concrete. It was funny, I remember when that time when Finn was on the floor and I'm sorry for sorry Finn who's watching and you know that big Sammy potato incidents. We everyone had their own expense moment, I guess, and what happens in these other things is you it's creating our own unique entertainment, I suppose. And you know, we don't you don't see much of this sort of stuff on television as much nowadays. It used to be a lot, especially free to air. Netflix has some cool stuff, but you know, it's changing media and we're trying to keep the good old Aussie stuff going. I guess. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. thanks for being on, Matt. It's all good. It's an absolute privilege. Yeah. Thank you.